Welcome back to another episode of Fries with Potato Guys. Today I'm here with Samyukta and to talk a little bit about Samyukta, she is an entrepreneur. First of all, I wanted to bring this point here. She is an entrepreneur, a model, an actress and a mother most importantly and she does all of these things and juggles them so beautifully and today I'm so excited to have you on the show because I get to really talk about your story because very in the park mother it's aspirational to hear all the things that you do you're a, you're into fitness you're acting you're modeling you're an entrepreneur you take care of so many things at the same time and like obviously very in the park mother it's like wow she handles it with like so much grace she handles it with like so much you know elegance and like you do you manage to do everything right and oh, yeah. <laughs> but like only you know the story <laughs> right, right only you know how hard it's been for you to come to this point how difficult your journey has been because there's no good story or no good journey without like a little bit of ups and downs you okay, know okay okay so where did your journey right. start first I, i'll start out by saying thank you for having me on your podcast yes, thank you so I much i think you're doing here. an amazing job um i love your content samya so arke so um i think i was always very um, passionate about modeling media mm-hmm. i i had like a or natural flair mm-hmm. number work nu onu pombodhu adu vela yo kadupa irukum la enakku vande in the modeling in the media sambandhapatta vishayam ellame enakku vande it will be like i look forward to it okay. you know so i think that's where it started and ipo just uh, uh, some time back we were discussing the mm-hmm. why not full time yeah. media and all that na start pannum bodhu abbi dhaan romba part time ma dhaan panirundha because one appa vidamaatar like uh, <laughs> <laughs> if like you know uh, no chance and uh, எனக்கு வந்து ஐ திங்க் மை ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஸ்டின்ட் வித் திஸ் என்டயர் மீடியா வாஸ் மை மிஸ் சென்னை ஐ ஒன் தின் யூஸ் டு ஹேவ் லைக் அ க்ரூமிங் செஷன் பிஃபோர் அண்ட் ஐ யூஸ் டு லை எவ்ரி டே டு கோ ஃபார் கிளாஸஸ் ஐ ஸ்டே ஐம் ஹேவிங் ஐம் கோயிங் ஃபார் கம்பைன் ஸ்டடீஸ் ஐம் கோயிங் ஃபார் லைக் ஃபார் ஒன் வீக் ஐ ஓட்டிஃபைட் லைக் தட் அண்ட் தென் ஆஃப்டர் தட் லைக் ஹி ஹீ ஹீ வாஸ் சோ மேட் and i was like please god let me win this so that i can at least tell him that you know i i i won you know yeah. so that was the start of it then how was like the pageant life the i've, pageant I've life. heard like so many things from so many people but i want to know like what it was so i you. took part in uh, two pageants one was the miss chennai mm-hmm. number chennai scene abindrathu it's not like bombay or anything it's mm-hmm. more like you know uh, you know that home vibe so mm-hmm. it was not like a very like a strict thing not or anything like less. yeah it was not that uh, i mean it was not the the ones that usually confi- uh, confined to the usual norms of you know modeling or very chilled out they didn't like make us intensively diet mm-hmm. it was more like a grooming session every nadakano every makeup pannu and mari stuff tha and adukaprom idu win pannaprom this miss chennai was affiliated to a world miss university in solittu or a un based pageant where all the girls from all universities mm-hmm. took part about 50 55 countries wow adu seriyana experience na vande edi pona na appo vande adhe soda buddi andha munadiya but enak an interest so that was quite a bit of an experience yeah it must have been like uh, quite an exposure for you yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely when you were young and like up on the like to be taking part in a pageant with like so many yeah so i went to uh, korea for this oh uh bayangara madrid and that's when i i realized india uh, english is not the most widely spoken language it's our assumption la, yeah. that english is the most it's spanish so adala konjo it must have taken a lot of guts especially if you were doing it without your parents knowledge and all of that now after that of course he came to know he's not very happy about it dad amma was always romba supportive irundanga mm-hmm. always that one parent yeah, amma, amma, amma was supportive but uh, he was like you know panni thola ni as long as you're working mm mm-hmm. you're doing something serious you know okay. conventionally i was working for one of the software companies at that oh, point of time okay i mean after that right after that i had to go through my campus placement till mm-hmm. ame point i had to like take up a regular job yeah. and all that <laughs> right of passage <laughs> yeah <laughs> so once you were done with the pageantry you obviously took up modeling part time while you were working You're right and this is something that you did out of your own interest in modeling pannu abdin mm. and like how did like that modeling and everything like wh- how did that change your life for what it is right now okay uh, i think i have to attribute pretty much a lot to that mm-hmm. you know inniki na 
பிக் பாஸ் போயிட்டு எல்லாருக்கும் ஓகே சம்யுக்தான்னு ஒருத்தங்க இருக்காங்கன்றது அந்த ஒரு ஸ்டெம்லேருந்து தான் வந்த ஒரு விஷயம் ஸோ ஐ எம் கிளாட் தட் யூனோ இன் ஸ்பைட் ஆஃப் யூனோ நிறைய தடைகள் இருந்திருக்கும் அந்த பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப் டைமில் யூ லைக் யூ லேவ் டு லே சம்டைம்ஸ் பங்க் ஆஃபீஸ் யூ லேவ் டு லைக் யூனோ யோ ஸோ லைக் யோ ஐ மீன் டேட் உட் பி ஹாப்பி அபவுட் இட் அதெல்லாம் தாண்டி when you you have done something and today's brought you to some place then i look back i think or a nalla decision ah than namba na namba poi time waste pannala la namba we are doing something that we like and we enjoy so That's i that. think i'm glad i stuck to my ground on that what do you think has been like a pivotal part in your journey when it comes to modeling that has taken you like in the big boss itik porudho inda edathukku varadhukku what what do you think was that pivotal point for you so i don't think i had one, any one particular pivotal point that ana uh, vandu refer panna mudiyum abindrathu but i think it was the entire that experience that i've gathered through those years that i was doing it as a part time thing that led me finally there it's okay. like gathering a little little moss as we go okay kind of so thing. it's like picking up little experience yeah, 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 yeah so like there are a lot of girls who want to get into modeling and right. obviously there are so many parents who are afraid of their daughters getting into modeling because right, of like right, right. or the hostile environment that they might face mm, you know mm, mm. so like is there something that you can share two women who want to get into it who are who might face such hostile environments so uh, i think when you draw your boundaries very clearly and you have a sense of uh, self respect mm-hmm. much i wouldn't say self respect but a sense of self mm. that you have then you know you will not be uh, exploited or taken for granted every, anywhere mm-hmm. i think that's what is important be it modeling or any in any aspect of life okay <clears throat> I guess that uh, works out for like any industry you would say. Amma, correct. You know, even, ha- even your corporate world or anywhere yeah. else. I think that that holds good. La. Yeah. And obviously there shouldn't be hostile environments but it is the world that we live in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think everywhere it is, it is, uh, in our opinion and in our, ultimately boils down to people. Yeah. In the industry, in the industry, Thandi. how the people um, um, are our energy how it is like in this one issue i feel like there's all, it's also been a little stigmatized yeah you know, that is true that is true like, because it's largely spoken about yeah for sure yeah. like i don't think matha industries like ivlo idu patti open ah nare per pesirukangala illa is it because like it, the frequency of how much it happens right, i'm not right. sure of like how the statistics right. work yeah, out yeah, true. but in every place or in every environment that you're set in there's going to be an uh, like something might happen and it is a possibility yeah, true. so yeah i think it is a little stigmatized and right uh, yeah it is yeah, have like have you had any experiences where you're saying like you know the modeling industry isn't like as like ruthless as me people make it out to be have, have you had experiences like that see um, for me it's always been great one because enak vandu na completely it's not been my single source of income i'm not desperate i'm not dependent it was more like I'm, i was doing it because i enjoyed doing it second enak vandu or group of friends set aichu and the formative period la okay like my co models all of them we were we used to love to hang out so we would okay. take up a show or an assignment together just to hang out and we were getting okay. paid also yeah. for it we were not getting paid big bucks but whatever that was it was like one fun outing kind of a thing to do because varo kal call time irko rehearsals irko if it's it's a ramp show we'll have rehearsals and then there'll be a makeup mm-hmm. session so you're pretty much sitting together and yapping the whole time for me so for me it was a very you know sort of the very fun kind of an Mm-hmm. experience it was never a very brutal or harsh or cold or and the mari hostile and the mari irundathu hardly mm. hardly maybe i think one show when i went and and that was when some some people were from bombay and stuff like that they were like a little mm. edgy and stuff like that and number we are not used to that la. we were very like i feel people from the south not to again generalize a more laid back chill mm. and uh, we avlo we don't care as about ourselves avlo la that's that yeah. yeah so uh you have made a friend 
Bhavna, who is someone you make a lot of reels with. Yes. I personally enjoy seeing two pretty ladies. Oh. <laughs> Thank but, you. <laughs> but my uh, question was like from the story that I read about you is that you got a big opportunity through Bhavna. Is that right. true? Yeah, that is true. That's true. I said it in one of my recent interviews. Like I was uh, down and out. Like mm -hmm. what I was doing next to you, like she came about and she said, why don't you, we, we, I mean, we discussed, why don't you do this? Can, can we do this? And the mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, yeah, I think like a girl empowering girl kind yeah. of a moment. There. I can yeah. really tell. Yeah. So, the reason why I wanted to like bring up that story of your friendship was because like not only were you guys like good friends, but you seemingly had people around you who had the similar interests uh, that you had. You yeah, know? yeah. So, like, now, now, I'm friends kite na solvana. You are the average of the five people that you hang out with. Right, right. So, right. like, you seem like whatever the people that you had around you, whoever it it was, like, it ended up bringing you to a place that you wanted to be in. So, right. do you think you agree to that? To quite an extent, I agree with that. So, on Amavanda, when we have like when Bhavna doesn't live here, she stays in Bombay. Mm -hmm. So, whenever she comes down. We are doing something productive, mm. like in for us, it might not be productive to, to anybody else, but we have a lot of fun shooting these reels and stuff like that. And when she's not here, that element of content creation is not there at mm. all. So definitely, I mean, when you have uh, people of your bandwidth and, and wavelength, it, it does help. Yeah. So you went from modeling, you went to Big Boss and like how was the experience in Big Boss? I watched it for like now what, seven seasons now? Right. And uh, did you, what was your like mindset getting into that house? Okay. So I I feel like when I went into Big Boss, one, I, I made a lot of mistakes in terms I did not do any research. Okay. I did not do any research. I think that's changed now though. Yeah, like... Uh, Everyone who goes in has done like a ton of research. Yeah, and now and then, uh, in fact, I was told, please, I've said the previous episodes, parunga, mm. path it is so that you have an idea. My, upon the end, state of mind, lavandu, okay, mm. okay, and upon, I, I, upon the social media platform, vandu, I had 100k followers. Okay. Seri, nambu poit on the na, or 400k, I don't pull a, Mm. I didn't realize that this platform was the reach was so gonna be so huge and then your life is gonna change forever. And the and the thought process they ill. It was just like something, okay, next time upon life, life line up on okay, sorry, big boss try upon. Bhavna also warned me. She said it's not like what you think. I was like very like, let's just do this, you know. I just want to get out of this situation in, in which I am. I want a change of mind. Mm -hmm. Seri, okay. So, I went in very na uh, naive. Okay. And the Mari, I went in very naive and... Um, and But for me, it's been... Post that, it's... Of course, trolls and all that, that got into got to me. But... Um, on, on the whole, overall, it's been a plus, plus, plus. Okay. So, when you go into a show like Big Boss, you need to like, uh, you were saying that you didn't prepare. But obviously, the talk particular or mentality we live there because you are like surrounded around like the same people and you're having like same conversations over and over again. And it, well, you, what was like something that you like took big learning out of that house? See, as such as the show, Nana Solvana, it is an edit, right? It is a storyline and it's an edit. So, whatever you see confines to that particular storyline. So, whatever pertains to a certain see, conversation. or a, a, a pattern set. Mm -hmm. So, other base panida, all the conversations would be. Okay. So, that's how it is. Not scripted for sure. Not scripted for sure. And see, it's a great platform for the, for an artist. For uh, like for me, it's a great been a great platform because I have the buying exposure. But it's one other aspect of it is it's very toxic. Like today, I'm inside the house or outside the house. Outside the house. Okay. Um, you'll miss home. Mm. You'll miss home. 
but if you find like your age group your uh, you see you're not going to get like super close or you're not going to like live with them for the rest of your life but in those that whatever um, period of time if you get somebody who can just chill with the whole day and rel- like like chill out then it's like it's like a paid vacation enak abhi da irundhudu enak vandu vella vandittu ayyo yo ipdi ella nadandiruka like that you know what it was, was something that was so jarring to you when you came out say the house the trolls like what what were they saying i don't remember because you don't remember i got like rogered for one word <laughs> really yeah okay like i didn't expect it at all mm-hmm. i didn't expect it at all and um, i think it's like a microscope view of like what happens in your yeah, day yeah because like peop- you like you realize how um people bashing can at its worst form when you're inside the big boss I house because um people like yeah that's that can take a toll actually and i gonna or rumbo or maya like what like you know you can't there's so many things you can't even relate and the mari irukum yeah really it, it must have been like uh நீங்க ஒரு பெர்செப்ஷன் இருந்திருப்பீங்க நான் எப்படி ஆஸ் அ பர்சன் ஐ ஆம் திஸ் ஆஸ் அ கேரக்டர் தீஸ் ஆர் மை குவாலிட்டிஸ் தீஸ் ஆர் மை வேல்யூஸ் அண்ட் தென் வென் யூ கம் அவுட் சைட் அண்ட் யூ சி லைக் கம்ப்ளீட்லி டிஃப்ரெண்ட் பெர்செப்ஷன் லைக் இட் வுட் ஹவ் பின் லைக் அ லிட்டில் லைக் வாட்ஸ் ஐ திங்க் ஃபார் மீ இன் இன் பர்டிகுல் பர்டிகுலர்லி ரொம்ப மிக்ஸ் லைக் நிறைய பேர் வந்து தே ரியலி லைக் மீ அண்ட் they really related to me enak vandu neriya andha mari comments um vandhudu but innor end innor spectrum is i am absolutely okay with people not liking me okay. but uh, and having a completely different perspective or a different view i completely respect that unga view unga view no problem at all but when it gets ugly is the language the okay. trolls the abuse you know like who are you people dude <laughs> you know yeah like why you, why would you want to be so violent you know like take a chill pill and, and that's scary be- also because imagine random a or the media la nadakkaradhu pudichu appadi kattranga na how would they be as a person in a, in a society as a person it's something that um, people like have to take a little seriously right like at least i feel uh, like the conversation is getting picked up because um, cyber bullying is not like a bullying in real life itself like namoorla i don't know if they take it as seriously as they do yeah. in like western countries but cyber bullying is a whole another ball park yeah there somebody so there was an influencer recently yeah. took his life on this yeah, i feel like that something that has to be addressed you know எனக்கு தெரியல நிஜமாவே சைபர் கிரைம்ஸ் வந்து அவ்வளவு சீரியஸா எடுத்துக்கிறாங்களா என்னன்னு எனக்கு இன்ஸ்டாகிராம் இஸ் நாட் சேஃப் வென் இட் கம்ஸ் டு சர்ச் காமன் பிகாஸ் யூ கா லைக் என்னதான் நீங்க ரிப்போர்ட் பண்ணாலும் they'll say that it doesn't violate their community exactly I've, like, i've tried that i'm like what yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah it's la. very scary place to yeah, be yeah yeah and some of these comments are like kya re ya ningal na and the mari irukku see i'm 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 not at all talking about the negative kala i troll i in fact i enjoy memes and and trolls like mm-hmm. the, even if it's on me mm-hmm. you know but the abuse that's something i feel like i i feel like people should know you can't do this online it's not acceptable somebody will come after you because it's literally like a crime yeah because you won't go around talking to a person i yeah, yeah you like ibdi titta matinga so why would you do that to another person yeah, it's not necessary is what yeah. we think i like to say but uh, yeah you had this whole like when you went to big boss you said that you were in a sort of like a state where you had to get out and like it had to like you needed a break from your life and like do you want to share a little bit about like the journey that you faced yeah mm. so uh, i think um, once i came out of big boss la my identity e maarirchu Mm-hmm. like i was somebody who like konjam pe nam chennai circle la konjam per ku theriyum modeling la panitte irundhanaala konjam per ku theriyum like whatever i would do would not be noticed people if i go to a room yaarukume ena therinjirukadu innikku vand so right after that like i went to phoenix nan illa phoenix la vr mall po irna or 100 meters nadakka mudiyala ena ellarkum photos andha mari irundhathu so enakku vand in the identity to the pre big boss identity to the post big boss identity was a huge shift shift 
it. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that was something that took a while for me to even get adjusted to. to. Okay. It's like everybody knew me, but I can't relate to the fact that I'm suddenly so famous because we have to do something and we have because you know you work so hard for it and all. Okay. If you go to a show, then everybody is able to like, recognize you out of it. I had a little bit of time to do the leveling gap bridge. Okay. So, I, I mentioned in the beginning of the podcast that you are an entrepreneur. So, how did you come to work? Okay, you had a software job, you were doing modeling and you had uh, modeling as your part time. But then, how did you foray into... being an entrepreneur and being so enterprising right so now i'm a small time entrepreneur na rombo periya entrepreneur small time entrepreneur so i i i run a salon one of the franchises in trivandrum mm-hmm. tonian gave a franchise um so uh, how that that's five years ago how the journey started is uh, now and when i had gone mom's places kerala so when i'd gone there அங்க வந்து இந்த பிராண்டட் சலூன் ஒண்ணுமே இல்ல சரி நம்ம இங்க ஓபன் பண்ணா நல்லா பண்ணும் சி ஐ திங்க் ஐ ஃபீல் லைக் தட் டைம் மை ஸ்ட்ரென்த் வாஸ் ஈவன் நவ் டு அ சர்டன் எக்ஸ்டென்ட் ரொம்ப பயப்பட மாட்டேன் ஓவர் திங்க் பண்ண மாட்டேன் ஓகே இது நல்ல ஐடியான்னு இருந்ததுன்னா ஒரு எயிட்டி பர்சன்ட் இறங்கிடும் ஓகே I think uh, that Where do you get that confidence from because I feel like a lot of people overthink I Very think I'll go more to confidence now like I told you big boss la erang kita like a from oh my god it's like that I I don't know I I I think that's or mari or spontaneity it's a part of my nature okay. uh, um yeah I think it's just a part of my nature Just do like I came for your podcast just spontaneously right <laughs> yeah i'm sure you would have been little surprised that how i like i was like okay i'm coming like that you know so i have to ask you about your very cute son okay so uh he's about 7 years now um, i just turned 8 yeah and uh, you have been a single mom for quite a while hmm. and obviously it's not something that in our society it's not something that people accept tend to accept very quickly mm. you know they have so many op- uh, opinions about it and to have to have passed through all of that is there something that you have to share in your journey that's so important that other women can relate to okay mm-hmm. so um, I, in a recent interview only i first started talking about this mm-hmm. entire the yena enakku oru periya oru bharatha thooki nadandirundha mari oru oru feeling irundathu I I kept feeling like you know that was a huge part of my identity but I never have ever addressed it or spoken about it or or anything of that sort um so I after I gave that interview I was like oh oh now usually you're expected to be diplomatic when you talk you expected to be rombo like not not talk any of the topics that are not conventional illa yeah you just speaking about your the work you do and stuff like that but somehow i felt like you know this is a huge part of my identity na idha pathi pesiye aanu nrathu adukapra interview mudinja appo konjam bayanda ayyo na da ora pesitom thevala thevala ma pesitom e appdi nrathu adukapra enakku vandha and particular interview la nrathu response appdi irundhadha na it was like the lot of women reaching out to me saying that you know uh, it's it's uh, you know i this is my story and you know thank you for talking about it and stuff like that enakku vandu now how much of head space that used to occupy is suddenly like abdi dissipated okay hmm? so um so i'm okay talking about it now addressing it it's a part of my identity right now Uh, and yarume vande oru oru kalyanam panni oru kolanda pettukitte single mom single mom aanonu oru oru or independence andha maari la yarume irang maatanga enak therinja yarume at least enoda case la na completely expect e pannada oru vishayam idhu dhaan then the hugest challenge like that i've ever had to face um mm so um it was not something you prepare for first of all parenting itself is not something you prepare yeah, for yeah. Ad- before that adulting is not something you have to pre- you prepare for parenting munadi you have to 
establish that you are an adult right namu vandu nam namle vandu we are just learning at least namba indian system la vandu we are not independent we are always dependent on our parents or so many things so i had to like quickly own up to my situation ama idu da nadandirchu now you are alone with a child what are you going to do mm-hmm. so i had uh, two ways to look at it like yeah i had can be like whining all the time and like being so sad about my own situation or romba or victim mari or men there are faces where i get into that and i come yeah enak ipdi nadandudu yeah ipdi na mattum yeah in the responsibility idu pannu but one thing i was very clear about is in the in the in the vishayathnala ryan na vandu affect e aagakudadu avan vandu or happy child ah valarnu endra or and or maturity or or uh, a strong sense of responsibility enak eppodume irundirukk so from the beginning i would always shield him from anything that's happening like today also if you meet him you would you would notice he's a very kind boy he's a very happy boy okay you wouldn't you wouldn't see that sort of you know that sort of uh, okay or a dysfunctional okay uh, house or you know somebody where one of the parents are absent lend varra mari or feel you wouldn't you wouldn't get i mean i at least i've tried my 100% to yeah. establish that so you shower him all all your love and like love and like t- uh, sometimes tough love also because there, there should be a certain amount of discipline also Got yeah it. but i'm more like a friend i'm mm. more like a friend and we like buddies yeah so i had a guest on the show who was also raised by a single mom and he talks he, he loves his mom you know he talks so highly about his mom and he's always been like that on social media and had the uh, opportunity to like have a conversation with him and if you guys might know that's kishan das you know okay, okay. and like uh, i've never seen him ever talk about like having an absent parent or feeling very small right, about it right right but for for i'm i'm seeing the same sort of thing from you and the relationship that you share yeah, with your yeah. own son but you said something about like your uh, identity learning and it was a big part of your identity that you were hiding up din hmm. and i there has been many instances in my own life where i've hid a big part of my own identity and i still there are so many things that i do hide hmm. but like how did the courage come up it just does it like come in one day like um, so uh, hiding or i think um, the right word would be like number edhuk adha pathi pesano abindra or vishayam irukku la ena you are you are going to be automatically subjected to be judged okay or or 10 per irukanga na or 8 per ku puriyum what you are trying to say or what what is your situation but there's always going to be those two two person i mean the two people who are going to say oh ipdi pannirukalam apdi pannirukalam right they they never going to be empathetic with you so you don't want to put your place where you are unnecessarily judged because only you know your obstacles and the problems that you uh, or like how much you like heal yourself in order to face that sort of criticism yeah 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 so um yeah so why i just went for it is because uh, i just went for it <laughs> i don't know I... was it something that was like brimming to like come out or like it was just that okay you know what today i'm going to talk about it and i'm going to get it off my mind yeah i think something like that because it you won't believe it was occupying so much of my mind space i was always wondering ipo enna pandrathu adha pathi enna pandrathu enna pandrathu enna pandrathu like you know that my my legal proceedings are not done you know they're all pending and it was always a huge uh, thing in my head and then i think i feel like after i spoke about it it's just not there anymore i don't you know felt a little yeah annoying. yeah yeah maybe i think it was a fear of being judged mm-hmm. and then you're like okay i don't care this is me this is what happened to me and this is me so you want to take me as i am i i am fair otherwise it's, it's okay mm-hmm. you know this but this is me and you had a lot of women reach out to you and yeah, say, yeah, yeah, talk yeah. about their own story a lot of women also and a lot of people who who come up to me and given me a hug and said that you know like you know we we there you chill you know you chill like that so it's been it's been very en- empowering for me okay. so i feel like sometimes what happens when things like this happen we uh, self isolate panni po yeah. we don't want to talk like there there was a phase when i would never go for a lot of these family functions and stuff because i don't want to like they they will probably they'll ask where is your partner and then i i don't want to say 
you are always like faced with these questions right you don't want to like address them so now like everyone knows so it's it's chill you're just you breathing and yeah, like yeah. what's up dude <laughs> yeah so, yeah so so they don't talk they talk about other things they talk about how ryan is and how i'm doing and mm-hmm. it's shit so how you do balance all of these things with a lot of grace like i have said oh, before thanks <laughs> uh but you also take care of yourself like crazy and yeah. you're like we are you even in the big boss house it was a big part of who you were that you were someone who was a fit mom you right, know right right and a fit person and like on the pare photos park was it looks like you've always been like that since your modeling days okay so i i think <laughs> probably because i never had my partner around i had a lot of free time so i'd go to the gym okay. and that was like therapy for me so that was one of the reasons why i've always been consistent with my fitness okay. but either way i like i like my workouts i like um, i'm very sportive so mm-hmm. i that's a that's again a part of my identity okay because like ning big boss house le like there was one criticism i think kamal sir said was like workout pante irking le oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it, correct they took off the gym adanale nena chumma ivo paathala workout panidundru too funny guys yeah. so uh, obviously big part of your identity and you still carry it with you is there like i know that there are a lot of men and women who like manage to handle all of these things you know but i feel like when people say that like okay ning or mama ning and they pre handle pandre there will be so many moms who carry so many responsibilities on their shoulders wanting to take care of themselves also but it would have been like all all the time in the mm-hmm. they would have had other things to do so what is like unique about your situation that has allowed you to like manage all of these things i think intent da at the end of the day namba vandu we live, live one life mm-hmm. laya yeah? we live one life and i feel adliye vandu namba learning process liye neriya varsham poidum mm-hmm. like literally see till you are about uh, 15 you you just enjoying your childhood mm-hmm. and your stuff and then after that you're like you're getting into adulthood and like, most of us especially we are like so india la vandu we are so well taken care of we don't even adult properly we don't take care of our things we have our moms dads to do everything and you like inniki pochina idu thirupi varadilla so i i i always believe that even when i'm in a konjam down a irundana na inda inda time pochina idu mattum thirupi varadu so inniki vandu namba enna pannom pannirlam adukaprom it's up to finish fate. the responsibility um, okay responsibility oda on the day okay nammalku vandu namba nam most of us will have that or id irukum la we want to look good or we want to look a particular way adukku or back work irukum it i am somebody who is not extreme about anything enak okay. vandu sustenance vandu romba important i am a foodie and the price vandu romba avar mari aichu adnala i am not eating it but otherwise i i love my food mm-hmm. so i i believe in having like a balanced uh, sort of a, a lifestyle so okay. workout sits inside that and everybody should aim for that number our life lo one missing a irukku seri number health vandu optimum a illa na number back work pannite or naal la enga number incorporate pannalam or chinna chinna levels la you don't have to like work out for 4 or 5 hours you are able to give 15 minutes to that good enough over a period of time you will get where you have to amma na vandu romba la bayangaramma gym poi adha la panna matta chumma tuesday thursday tuesday thursday saturday then go zumba class okay anga poi time pass panna vendi appo strength training neriya na lo obi adipa but because in a week i'll somehow get say um three four sessions okay or sometimes stuff that i like like i said zumba and you know some dance and stuff like that it it evens out okay but uh, overall what do you what do you think that has been like a stand alone like a, something that stood out in your experience that you've taken so far for me i personally i would say in my like journey which has been short lived for now like it's going to short term but one thing that i've taken with me is that you have to keep doing what excites or else there's no point in doing it you know you should be passionate about what you're doing and mm. i feel like in the stories that you've said you've also reflected the same sort of sentiments mm. that you had the passion towards it and mm. it's something that you wanted to do so like what is something like your mantra as such okay see of course or or journey number edukoronu vechukonga like you like this entire blogging and the stuff that you do 
அஃப்கோர்ஸ் அந்த இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் இருக்கணும் ஒரு பாயிண்ட்டுக்கு அப்புறம் மோட்டிவேஷன் இருக்காது ஸோ அப்போ யோ கன்சிஸ்டன்சி வில் ப்ளே அ கீ ரோல் தட்ஸ் ஒன் திங் எனக்கு வந்து வாட் ஐவ் லேர்ன் த்ரூ திஸ் என்டயர் ஜேர்னி இஸ் நம்ம நம்ம செல்ஃப் சி ஐம் சம்படி ஹூ யூஸ் டு பி அ பீப்புள் ப்ளீஸ் ஐ டு பி வெரி லைக் எல்லாரும் ஷுட் Uh, you know say no bridge is saying i'm very sense i used to be very sensitive no bridge is say something not nice about me and stuff like that uh, over a period of time over the entire journey i have learned that i should love myself it might sound cliche self love la but that is so important yena namba vande and na sonna mari illa and the correct boundaries set panni nam nammalku nam namma or identity okay this is samyukta this is how she is she might have her flaws but from your core if you love you yourself i feel that then it doesn't matter feel sutti enna nadandalo it won't affect you so much and i also want to ask this question you said that like you were going through a turbulent time before you went into the big boss show mm. and already like your life personal life lo or turbulence nadandirukku and then going into a show like big boss that's also a whole like whirlwind of emotions inside and outside the house yeah so like what, how did you like have the actual courage to like get into it adha dhan solran la sometimes ignorance is bliss nu solvanga la enak big boss ivlo ipdi irukku nradhu and the idhe illa okay or okay task kudupanga pole sanda poduvanga adhu theriyum but tv la paakkum bodhu or feel irukum la ang irukkum bodhu it's a completely different uh, thing completely so I, i i was like how bad can it possibly be you know okay so you took it lightly yeah i took it lightly and see also nam personal life la nadakkirathu vandu it's the people who you been with the people who you've loved so mm. that's going to affect you a great deal la this is just to show the people who you don't know so that kind of uh, how much it affects you emotionally is is not even comparable so okay yeah so definitely real life uh, drama is, is like so much higher than the show would any that ah uh, that that was the mindset i went in like already life level nadakkudhu ange enna da perusa ipdi nadakapodhu that's going to like you know uh, break me down you know that makes sense yeah so we have a little segment where i basically stalk from yakta's instagram okay. account and i take embarrassing pictures from her past uh oh oh and ask her questions about what was going on okay. in that picture bring it on yeah not on ayyo hey, hey, <laughs> i need to quickly go and bash her in this picture <laughs> so what was going on here please tell me <laughs> so this is one of my first trips to goa okay and na inga edach indha mari beach destination ponale na and and what is that called afro yeah. afro is paniruven sala same suit avum suit a this is one of the bad angles pictures oh yeah you look very young over here probably yeah, like 18 or 19 20 20 23 oh okay next picture is one with her mum we've seen her in the reels but this is an older picture yeah so, Let's back story about this picture. This I think was in Ooty. Mom and dad were living there for a bit. Mm-hmm. I'm very attached to my mom because uh, sometimes she drives me crazy but uh, she's always been so unconditionally supportive. Mm-hmm. So uh, I think it's a very cute picture. This one is on caption photo of Samaya. Oh, what a jumpy photo. It was too funny. So I think I went with my parents now to Taj Mahal. There did you notice how short my hair was then? I had a boy cut in between. Oh. Yeah, I do a lot of I like drastically change my hair and all that. Mm. So I think <laughs> another <laughs> drastic hair change speaking <laughs> is this bangs moment that Samik had. <laughs> What was going on here, man? Kind of cute, na, for bangs fashion. <laughs> <laughs> bangs are never fashionable guys come on i hate them I, i love bangs make my forehead look smaller <laughs> but yes a very cute picture blast from the past come giving on. you must have been very popular in your college abla illa na romba geeky a irpen really 
some more transformation in the long. So, uh, thank you, Samikta, thank for you. Have, coming on to the show very yeah. graciously. Totally. Yeah, I, I, like I, was, I told you in the beginning, I love your content. You should continue doing what you're doing. Thank you so much. It's awesome. And I think you have a very chill vibe, which you should uh, keep <laughs> thank on. Thank you. Yeah. Good luck and to you and your entire team. <laughs> Thank you so much. Damn. And yeah, if um, if you guys know Samyukta, she you know that she's always giving you power pack content. Like on another one the model, actor, fitness, <laughs> she's a great content creator, guys. I feel like Ramo, I try, I try guys. At least I try, okay. I know some of my content will be cringe and stuff, but then I just try. Yeah. I like how many people try bro? All these people like judge and then they'll yeah, not even I'm put a, out stuff. Know, it's, it's a good thing that I don't think too much. Yeah. Like, you yeah. know, just go with the flow. Yeah, so if you guys watch our content, I hope this video was a little um, insight into Samyukta's life. And I had a very great conversation with you. Yeah. Um, she's she's yes. like she's like even more chiller than a Gen Z bro. Which okay. I didn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you Samikta thank for coming you. on to thank the show. You. I loved having yeah. you on yeah. here. Yeah. Great show. Wish you all the best. Yeah, wish you too. See you all in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.